Welcome to episode five of Pigskin Over Pizza, the show where we talk about sports while eating and <laughs> reviewing. All right, let's just skip this pizza. horse shit. Welcome to episode five. <laughs> I hit record and apparently it stopped recording. We had a good intro and everything was going swell, but what you're seeing now is the aftermath of us trying the pizza. Oh. <laughs> it's not a loss. Um... And we already had a nice segment about Richard Sherman, so now we're going to have to go through all that again. The day is July 15th. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this pizza sucks. You want to dig into the pizza and see what you think? Yeah, let's see, man. It's better. <laughs> At least there's something hiding the crust. It's weird because it looks way worse. I think there's just so many other flavors hiding the crust. So, you want to talk about Richard Sherman, you said. Oh, yeah. God damn it. It's so not authentic now. It was so <laughs> good at first. It sucks. Well, Richard Sherman got arrested. Oh, man. I don't even want to talk about it. He got arrested. It was for domestic violence. It wasn't for domestic violence after all. He was just drunk and on antidepressants and very suicidal. Uh, and it's way more sad than anything else. I don't, even, I don't know. Do you want me to go through all the notes again? Only if you want to. I want to for the show, but I don't want to personally. So Richard Sherman was booked for burglary domestic violence this morning. Oh, not this morning. This was a few days ago. In Seattle and was denied bail. Um, he also was in a car crash, a single vehicle car crash, with char- extra charges of DUI and hit and run and evading police. Okay, I think that's everything. So that's the initial thing, but it turns out there was no domestic violence, which is great. Um, but he was drunk and mixing that with antidepressants because apparently he's super depressed. <clears throat> and the whole thing came out as he was super suicidal and he was like looking to harm himself. So I was pretty upset at first because like, I really like Richard Sherman. Like, really like him. He's one of my favorite ex-Seahawks. And just as a person, he always seems super stand-up to me. Um, And so this was like, oh, that sucks. He's just another Tyree Kill, <clears throat> Kareem Hunt type of guy, and that sucks. Um, But it turns out he's just fucking sad. And uh, it doesn't excuse the drunkenness or the being physical, not with his wife or anything like that, but just I think he was, like, threatening his her uncle or something. Um that doesn't excuse, you know, threatening and then being aggressive and the car crash and running and all that he should be held accountable for. But I think there is definitely something to say for someone that's suicidal and sad and not really knowing what to do and in a state of I'm going to fucking do it. That's just really sad. So I hope, you know, he went to jail for a few days. He He's out on bail now. I hope he's going to get the help that he needs and gets to stay away from football for a little bit. And get the help that he needs. I think that's a pretty good summary of what we already talked about. And a pretty clear thing of how I feel about him. Yeah, then you asked how I felt, and yes. I told you that I've always hated him, as you know. Mm-hmm. And not just because he's a football player, or not because of his football skills and what he's done, but to me, he does seem like a terrible guy. So when this happened, and I first read it, I didn't think... I was never like, oh, he's going to do these things, but when I read it as well, it kind of just validates him being a terrible person. But then, which I still think those things are terrible, <clears throat> but where I was more open-minded was actually talking to you off of, off air, as the kids say, mm-hmm. and you tell me the more sad stuff about it, and that's where I kind of started seeing a different angle, even though I my feelings are, on him are still the same. Yeah, that's still... That part's sad and seems like uh, something kind of messed up there. Yeah. It just sucks when there's something mental happening. And yeah. He just needs to get help, and I hope he does. <clears throat> um, yeah, there's a police call that got uh, not even leaked. It was played on the radio. Um, I wouldn't listen to it. It's super sad, and I don't think it's very fun. If you're going to listen to it, though, listen to how fucking awful the dispatcher is. It is she's getting ripped for it. It is terrible. It is awful, but I wouldn't even listen to it. It's 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 just sad. 
So it's his whole wife explaining, trying to explain to this fucking horrible dispatcher, I have a suicidal husband trying to get in and find a gun to hurt himself. And she's just like, ma'am, what kind of car does he drive? I don't know. It's a Mercedes, black Mercedes. Is that a sedan or an SUV? It's a sedan, Mercedes, SUV. Uh, ma'am, those are two different vehicles. Um, is it a sedan or an SUV? Uh, I don't know. Okay, wh wh where is he? Well, he's in the driveway. Well, what's he doing? Well, he's 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 getting violent. Uh, he's getting violent. He's about to get violent. He's been violent. No, he's threatening my uncle. Well, he's threatening or he has threatened. He's he's just about to fight him. He has fought him or he's about to fight. Literally, these are not exaggerations. You went straight, Cody. To tell that story there. Did I? Yeah, he's gonna be proud of you. Good. <laughs> She's fucking terrible. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's awful. So. Enjoy it if you want. It's just a sad phone call because of what's happening. And she's, like, really sad yelling at Herman to stop. So that's all the Seahawks news I have, and that's even loosely Seahawks-related. Um, also, minicamp started, and it's open to the public, which is some normality, um, which is cool to see. But that's all I have for football news. And we're back to caught up. Speaking of domestic violence. Mm. <laughs> So it came out today, actually. I guess this happened July 3rd in Las Vegas. Dwayne Haskins so got married to his now wife. Hopefully soon to be his wife. <laughs> yeah. And then a the day after that, they started arguing in um, a casino in Las Vegas. And then she ended up hitting him and knocking out multiple teeth and bruising him and got to the point where... He was literally yelling for security, and that was the only way he could get her off of him. And this isn't allegedly or anything. That's a literal police report. And I said how I'll be the first one to say that football players and stars in general, football players kind of just get the only thing that ever gets publicized, but um, famous people in general can get away with too much shit. And there's plenty of guys that shouldn't be allowed in the league like we talked about, like, Kareem Cunt or uh, mm -hmm. Tyreek Hill. People are just downright terrible, not people that had a bad situation or yeah. one thing happened or something. You have to go out of your way to do these kind of things. But I think on the same hand, <laughs> you're making fun of me on the current backlogs for falling this fly. <laughs> you're staring at him like... <laughs> I want to kill it. <laughs> He's testing us. Look at him. I would, With my luck of breaking everything, I would break everything. But I think, on the other hand, that um, speaking of breaking things, that girls can get away with literally anything because as soon as he did anything back to her, it would be the story would be how he went oh, crazy yeah. on this female. And I'm not oh, somebody yeah. that's going to advocate hitting women. Like uh, Ray Rice, I don't think he should have been allowed in the league. <clears throat> and, um, or like we talked about, Cream Hunt. Yeah. I had to stop myself from saying my nickname for him. It's a creative nickname. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. it. Um, so I'm not somebody that advocates that, definitely. I think you should go out of your way to do that. But I think if girls are literally abusing you and you just have to take it, I think it's kind of fucked up. It's super fucked up. Yeah. And it's like a huge thing that isn't advocated for. The dudes are dudes are part of – are in physically abusive relationships. And it's like, oh, that's, you're such a pussy, bro. Yeah. It's like a, a very real thing. There's like support groups for and shit. So it's like a deathly – Needs to be talked about more. Yeah. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, I do have more football news, but we didn't talk about on the re-recording oh, our experience at this place. Do you want to talk about that before we keep going oh, football? Oh, Jesus, yeah. <laughs> so this is probably where you put the C-roll. That will work, yeah. Okay. Um, this place <laughs> was something. It's a... Uh, we didn't even, guess we didn't even say it. Yeah, we really fucked this up. Papa Joe's. It's in... Not Papa John's. Yeah, Papa Jones. John's is better. It's technically... The address is in Columbus, but I was telling Derek that it's closer to areas of... Or suburbs of Columbus called Bexley and Whitehall. And Bexley is mostly super nice. Whitehall is mostly super not. Super awful. And <laughs> this place sucked. It was... Felt Whitehall. The crazy thing was it was definitely leaning way closer to... Uh, Bexley as far as location, but as far as the atmosphere, it was definitely way closer to Whitehall. Yeah. But, it was um, like cars were just parked in random spots. <laughs> Couples were just standing outside yelling at each other. 
random people would come out of the gas station it's attached to and just start yelling. I was super uncomfortable. I just got a new car, <laughs> as you guys know, and I was like, that car's gone. Um, and then you step inside of the place, and it's like you went to a different uh, era. It was like 90s. Everything was yellow tinted. Um, and it was just everything was fucking old, and all the machines looked old, all the or the cooking things looked old. The sign was ancient. <laughs> the guys weren't ancient, which was weird. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. Initial thoughts on the crust that we weren't mentioned before <laughs> is this looks like a wheat crust, <laughs> like uh, <laughs> store bought <laughs> store bought <laughs> wheat crust has these weird rattlesnake patterns on it. <laughs> And uh, there should not be any place. But, 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 look at the pepperoni. Totally fucking normal. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't understand. So, it was weird. It was a weird experience going in there. <laughs> and I have, I don't even have my review yet, but it's not going to be good. We'll see at the end. We will. I'm going to hold on to my tongue. I want to talk more about it, but I will hold my tongue. Speaking of the end, unfortunately, this can be some a sad episode for different areas. Oh, yeah. And we started off with Shermie. That's sad. This is going to be way more sad. Yeah. Um, this one's not going to be one you're thinking of. There's going to be multiple because we're still on football right now. Um, Alex Gibbs, a longtime coach in the NFL, died on Monday. Seattle and Denver. Oh, he coached Seattle. Yeah. Um, yep, there it is. Yep. I wasn't saying you're wrong. I just didn't know that because, yeah, he's coached fucking a lot. Yeah. Yeah, he died on Monday from a stroke. He is 80, so at least. Lived a pretty long life. Yeah. Yeah. But, still sucks. Yeah, and it sounds like a pretty terrible way to go out. My stepdad had a stroke. He's, yeah. Uh, he's still alive, but he, uh, pretty fucking life altering. Yeah, sure. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, he. I think he's definitely known for, well, he is known for the Broncos because he's coached there at three different stints, and he was uh, originally an offensive line coach in 84 to 87, which obviously before my time, but I know him when he came back to the Broncos from 95 to 2003 as the assistant head coach and offensive line coach, and that's the year the Broncos won back-to-back Super Bowls, and then he came back to, well, he had a lot of different stints at different places, including the Seahawks in 2010. And then he finished his coaching career with the Broncos as offensive line uh, consultant in 2013. What I did not know, and it makes sense because way before my time, but makes it even cooler is he was an offensive coordinator and offensive line coach from 1975 to 1978 for Ohio State. So literally my two favorite football teams. There you go. And <clears throat> yours as well. Yeah. Well, well one of you know what I mean. Like yeah. your favorite yeah. football team. We, we each have a tie to it. Yeah. We have two. So obviously – Sad news, but yeah. um, we got more sad news to come. Let's so keep going, yeah. <clears throat> Fuck it. Well, later on, not right now. I guess it's minor sad news, but in a way less serious way. The uh, IFL, okay. the League of the Wild Dogs, of course. Mm. Ooh, Run ooh. wild. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Um, I knew there was a slogan. I just didn't know what it was. Yeah. I I'm showed you the, so hungry, and I want to keep eating, but this sucks. We should get the monster pizza. I'd never want to do that. What was it? How big? Two feet. <laughs> they didn't even give it inches. Ooh. Um, yeah, have I showed you what Wild Dog sounds like? It's not what you'd expect. If oh, I no, they have a sound. Yeah, no. it's real whiny and kind of depressing. Are you gonna find it? Their thing is this: what they're gonna play, or just the sound? Oh, of wild no, dogs? it sounds of yeah, real wild oh, dogs. I've heard that. Yeah, it's, it'll be creepy as hell, especially because they're <laughs> the uh, highest kill rate in the wild. Uh, fucking sweet because we're gonna murder all the competition. My woof guy. woof. But it's been two weeks since we've done it. woof woof. It's been two weeks since we've done this, as I said. So unfortunately, the Frisco Fighters, the team I'm following now, as mm-hmm. I told you, because the future coach of the Wild Dogs is assistant coach there right now, mm-hmm. and they lost their first game two weeks ago, but then they won this week, so they're six and one now. Which only have one team better than them because they've played more games. They're seven and one. Arizona Rattlers. So Frisco still at six and one, and uh, that's where we're at with the IFL right now. Right on. My favorite team is Kings too. Which one? Uh they're just getting ready to play the Wild Dogs. Wolf Wolf. <laughs> is that gonna be your thing? 
Wolf, wolf, might be. Yeah. You should get a shirt that says wolf, wolf. Says wolf, wolf. <laughs> and find just the dumbest shirt, dumbest picture of a wild dog. Which you get like a literal dumb dog, like a pug. Yeah, there wolf, you wolf. go. I love pugs, though. So. Oh. They just look incredibly stupid. You know they say, no pug, no love. No pug, no drugs. Which is the opposite of what you would get at this place. No drugs. The opposite would be drugs. You get drugs here. We were saying you yeah. could probably purchase about a gallon of liquid heroin. Yeah, there was one couple in particular that I think were just like, if we stayed there long enough, one of them was going to die. Yeah, I guarantee there's been a death there. <laughs> there's been a It was connected to this. Um, I was going to say supermarket. That's not true at all. Convenience store. Yeah. It's, but, uh, I can't talk that much shit. I work at a gas station pizza place too, so. Yeah, but that one's at least nicer. Yeah. <laughs> this was a whole experience. There'll be some C-roll for you. <laughs> well, speaking of C-roll, let's talk about some soccer. Let's do it. Go ahead. Okay. I got nothing. So, <clears throat> I got something. Let's see. Look, there you go. Lionel Messi will sign a new five-year contract at Barcelona, taking a 50% reduction, reduction in his wages that will keep him at the club until he is 39. His uh, 15% reduction price. 50. Makes him, oh, 50. Probably. Yeah. Still that's, ridiculously. Yeah, probably one of the most highest paid athletes in the world. Yeah. Which is like fucking crazy. Taking 50% is pretty gnarly. Yeah. I wonder if that means like he's going to stay at the club until he's 39, but he won't play it. I don't know. I don't yeah. know what it means. I just. He's a big name, so I figured I'd jot it down. That's, I'm always There's saying other that. things happening in soccer. Big things. There is. Do you want to talk about them? Or yeah, just... I don't think so. I don't know because I don't know them. <laughs> Speaking of Do big you things, have them? like who won the cups? Um, oh, like European? Yeah, you don't Fuck have no. any of the. Good I know it was Italy won it. I know that they won the whole thing. It's coming home. Slash that out. It's coming Rome. Mm. Did you see that? No, I don't like it's that. Pretty creative. I don't like that. Because everyone's super excited for it to come home, and they shit the bed, and it's coming Rome. I just can't connect to that league at all. I can admit, I like the MLS, and I know that overseas is more talented, but I just can't connect to it. I have no, I'm probably never going to see these teams in my entire life. I, I'd i like to see a Chelsea game once. I like Chelsea a lot. Yeah, see, I don't, there's no, I can't just like any team. I'm just like, no, it just seems literally so foreign to me. Yeah. The only reason I like, I've, I've always played with Chelsea in FIFA. I don't know. I just have a weird... She sounds like she'd be hot. Chelsea? Yeah. FC? Yeah. She's fucking cool. (laughs) I get it. So speaking of fucking cool, the Columbus crew last time we talked about on here Mm -hmm. had played 10 games, which was 4-3-3 for 15 points, and they were in six in the East. They played two games since then. How many teams are total in the East? 14. Okay. And the top seven teams make the playoffs. Okay. And they play 12 games now, four, five, and three. So, oh, okay, yeah. Didn't know if they had that wrong. Two draws and 17 points. But now they're in eighth place, so they dropped out of the playoffs. But Thanks. six and seven have the same amount of points, so that's just literally tiebreakers of what's keeping them two spots out of the playoffs and or even one spot above. And then the highest team has 24 points, and they play more games than the crew, so there's not... That sounds bad, but there's so not much, much separation. Yeah. yeah. And then you can look all the way at the bottom. Team like Toronto only has eight points, so that tells you how big of a drop-off they'd have to have, too. Okay. And both the games they've played since then I have been to and had to kind of... You watch the current backloggers. They'd stop yourself. Fail to talk about it, yeah. So I think we should first talk about the first game ever at Lower Dot Com Field. Woo, 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 woo. The dot, as the kids are calling it. Ooh, really? I don't know. I think that's better. It's not. No. No. What about? That makes I, me hate it, actually. Yeah. Yeah. What about this one? I think this one actually sounds good, and I think you'll like it. But I think it could sound like a drug. Okay. Um, LDC. Better. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But death it sounds like a drug. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen people SD. saying that, but it's online, so I don't know if it's just because they don't want to type it out or if you're actually going to call it that. And they could call it LDC Field, you know? Dot. Com. Yeah. Yeah, it's better than the dot. That makes me hate it. 
That really makes me hate it, actually. <laughs> trying to make something that's really not cool, cool. So I visited the dot for the first time. Mm -hmm. for the, <laughs> the, the home opener there. Which, it's a little weird to have a home opener for a team that's halfway through the season and the first team in Major League Soccer history or American Soccer history as far as professional. And like I said, I'm just so confused by their timing on everything, the rebranding, well, potential rebranding, the logo change, because I don't know. If they weren't going to have everything ready, I don't know why they didn't just open it next season or wait for a rebrand of next season. So I think everything was kind of mixed up. Um, a little backwards, and I think we didn't talk about it on here, but I definitely don't think it was a planned thing. You were saying, wondering, because I wondered myself, but you asked me if you thought it was, if I thought it was intentional that they did the Columbus SC to try and get people like riled up. Remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think I was more saying, like, do you think they do it intentionally, like, to see what the feelers are? Yeah. And then back up. But yeah, kind of, yeah, similar. P pretty much, yeah. I don't know. I, like I said, I had the same kind of thought. I just, I didn't think so because it seemed like too big of a risk. I think the... It is a big risk, yeah. yeah. And I think it's all but been verified because the practice facility that I told you they're turning the old stadium into... The dot practice facility? Um, well, they're turning... Oh, the old one. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, crew, yeah the old yeah. crew stadium into the practice facility. The dot gym. And <laughs> they have a ton of placards there with the Columbus Crew logo, and they already had SC on there. So I think... And a lot of them were like inside the building where the public wouldn't be. So I think mm -hmm. they definitely thought that was going to be the name. Like, yeah. Oh, shit. They really fucking hate it. <laughs> you know what else LDC sounds, stands for? <clears throat> Little Dick Club. Mm. So nice to associate. See, that's what, I guess it's just the dot then. And you know what the dot reminds me of? Dipping dots? No. No. Target for some reason because of the dot on the. Target field better than lord.com thanks mary has or that. Little probably minnesota um but anyways this is my first game there they played new england which is who they opened the uh, first soccer specific stadium in america against new england and they won two nothing i was hoping for the same oh the but, first game yeah okay, sorry. but this one unfortunately I know the outcome of this one New York or uh, New England went up to nothing. So the opposite of that. So well, that's out of the question real fast, and hopefully it's not in reverse. This is two nothing, but the wrong way. So I'll talk about the game and kind of go over the stadium. So that was bad. We were without our starting goalie, which he's one of the top goalies in the entire league, if not the Tim top. Howard. No. Oh. Okay. I just seen how long the awkward pause could be. I could. Yeah, I should let it keep going. It's uh, Eloy Room, and then when he does good, they say Room, you know. And they're like, are they booing him? And Creative. You got that whole thing going. Super awesome. So they were <laughs> without him. So obviously you got to play depth. You got to play until you have. It's not an excuse, but that's a big loss. Sure, sure, sure. And sure, I think sure. that was felt pretty fast by letting two goals in that quick. But then they did come back to tie it 2-2, which is impressive. But then that ended up being the final, which is – yeah, well, it could be worse 0-0, zero, zero, but That's there true. shouldn't be ties at all. Ties are bad. I know soccer fans would stab me for that, but for sure. I'm going to stand by that forever because there is nothing more anticlimactic than being at a game, especially one like that that is so energetic and like, oh, what's going to happen? And then the game ends, everybody's kind of like, all right, do we go? Nothing happened. Yeah. That used to be my least favorite part of all Blue Jack games till the NHL was smart enough to take ties away, and I don't think soccer ever will. Definitely. I, it's yeah, I hope they do. Um, so, and as a 2 2 tie, the stadium was super nice. Um, going there was so cool having all the arenas and stadiums just in the line downtown. And the street was just closed off, and there's just nothing but black and gold going all the way to the stadium. It was beautiful. And then. For Steelers. Fuck off. And then. <laughs> You get in, well, you start to get in, and that's where the craziness starts, and you start seeing the difference opposed to a stadium that was created in 1999. Mm -hmm. And first that you can do your tickets, you can do, like, Apple Pay, you can just do, um, what do you call it, um, NFC. You can just scan it and walk in. Oh, okay. 
And the crazy thing is, even crazier than that, though, you can um, register online if you're like a season ticket holder at Go a lot, and you can have facial recognition. So you literally don't even have to pull out your phone or have your ticket. You just walk in. Hmm. Now, that is creepy, but fucking awesome. It's going to fail at some point in time. Some poor guy. <laughs> we can't let you in, man. <laughs> um, and then security was notoriously bad at the old stadium because it was, again, created a while ago. And when the old management was there, they literally would um, understaff security so that way people would get into the game late. Okay. And that's when they're trying to take the team away. So you'd see it was a sold-out game. But then the stadium would be half empty, and you could see lines out the stadium that were just thousands of people. Now, yeah, nobody's showing up. So, real fucked up. But even when it was right and the current ownership was there, it was just outdated and took a while. And you had to walk through the scanners and they would like, double check you and all that. This, you just walk through and oh, just keep moving, just keep moving. I was like, what the hell? This seems unsafe. But it's. Um, some kind of crazy technology they have, kind of like airports where they're just scanning as you walk through. Mm-hmm. So the guy in front of me, like, sir, we need to step over here. So they're just looking at you as you walk through. So it was so seamless and the quickest I've ever gotten in a stadium, which is insane for a home opener when things, or a stadium opener, when things are kind of not in order. And I said, I feel like it was kind of rushed to begin with. The fact that when that smooth, I think is really impressive because that means it's probably only going to get better. So that was really cool. The stadium is super nice. There's, you could tell it wasn't finished. Both of the autos there were not open yet, sadly. It's so sad for you. Yeah, because they always had Papa John's in the old stadium, which I fucking hate. They yeah. did have Donato's at the uh, start of this season at the old stadium, but that was only for whatever not 10 to be games. Not confused with Papa Joe's. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, and... There was just things like that where you could tell the stadium wasn't completely done. So as well, that's why I think it was a weird way to do it. But even with it, you with it, even with being able to tell that it wasn't completely done, the fact that it was that impressive and went that smoothly was really awesome. The uh, jackhammer we talked about, mm-hmm. um, I think it's really cool and well executed. The only thing, I think they need to work on the timing. So it's a little awkward because they would like pose for it and then. Do it, and then the, um, after the goal would happen, so the timing was a little off. But okay. as far as it happening, it actually didn't even seem as corny as I thought it would be, and I admitted as I thought it'd be corny, and everybody got real into it. I, I like, probably hate it. What the fuck were all you people mad about if you're getting into it? Because all I was in like the crazy section yeah, where all these, sure. those are people that are talking online and criticizing and everything. So it's a they're just a loud minority. I don't think it's that many people are just fucking loud. The squeaky but, wheel gets the gets the oil. Mm. I'm always saying that. That's what you say. <clears throat> the, one of the main things that was outdated the old stadium was the sound system was horrendous. Anytime they announced anything, you practically couldn't hear it. We talked about this a little bit. I was like, this all sounds so familiar. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm trying to just cover it like nothing yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, oh, no, you're good. Um, and the sound system at this stadium is almost too loud, which I'm not complaining. I'm not an old man. I like it. It's just such a fucking change up from... But you know what I'm saying. I'm not, yeah. not mentally an old man. I'm not like, oh, God or damn physically. noise. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not an old man. Um, <laughs> You're an old man. Okay. They have uh, multiple giant um, LED screens that are fantastic because at the old stadium they had one smaller one that you could barely see. Mm-hmm. So all of it is just modernized, but all for the better. There's a smokestack they use there that they painted um, yellow today. It was kind of just this gross, like, uh, brown, I don't know, rusting brown, because there's a little smokestack that was still there. But after the game ended, they saw some uh, black smoke out of it, which was cool, but again, a little anticlimactic for a tie. For a tie yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, they had fireworks that just shot off the entire top of the roof. It was fucking awesome. So... All of it was just a cool um, experience. I think the Nordeck, that's one of the biggest improvements because all the stadiums are getting designed now or having their own supporter section. The crew, since they were the first stadium, they kind of made their own section, but 
it was after the stadium was designed, so they just have like these awkward three sections like in the corner of the stadium. And every stadium now has it like literally behind the goal, mm-hmm. just like a wall. So that's what they did. It's the second biggest one in the league. It holds, I think, over 2,500 people. Who and is the biggest? I don't know. I should look that up. I'm surprised it's, they didn't do it just to be like, we had the biggest, but maybe the other one's just like too ridiculous. Because you also, I think the crew could definitely handle it, but certain teams, you don't want to make it too big and then kind of be awkward if it's not filled up or if, like this one post fucking be, guy in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which is supposed to be like your craziest area. So if it's not completely full, it's going to look real bad. But it's a, a 90 degree angle. So you're just standing like straight above this and like perfect view which that's a nice thing i walked around the stadium i was in the nordic but i walked all around to get different angles and there was not a bad view there you said 90 degree like yeah. literally the seats were on top of each other well there is at this section there is no seats there's benches you can fold in and out um but it's like a platform like two feet under and so you're elevated above the people, which is nice because you don't have anybody. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. Which <laughs> is really nice because people would stand like on top of the old bleachers and then block other people. So even if you're short. <laughs> God. <laughs> <Yeah, these. laughs> um, so it's a way better angle. And even if you're like at the top, then it's almost a better angle because you're able to see the whole landscape. I always buy so, tickets for that. Yeah. The nice part about the Nordic or any supporter section is general admission. So you can go, go to the front or the back for the same price. But then I went to Cincinnati. Cincinnati. That's right. The next week for Hell is Real, which... I... <laughs> Explain to the people what that is because everyone knows. Yeah. So halfway from Columbus to Cincinnati, there's a sign that says Hell is Real. Mm-hmm. Anybody that's going to Kings Island or Cincinnati or to Columbus from Cincinnati knows the sign. Mm-hmm. So when Cincinnati joined the league, then they decided the crew and um, Cincinnati fans decided together. That was That's a good what, name. Yeah, the That's rivalry right called right Hell is Real. It's a good one. Cincinnati has only won it once. Fuck so the crew's dominated. Yes, yeah. sir. Um, and this was my first time at their stadium. They have a brand new stadium as well. To TQL Stadium. If you want to see a picture of it, I put it on the our back hoggers. And <clears throat> what a guy you are. Um, I like to promote other channels. Well, the same channel, different shows. I'm going to promote you some I'm day, you know that? Let you. Oh, my God. But their stadium, it's really impressive. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, I'm biased, so I like the cruise more. But I think, objectively, I think... I don't know. I think they're different. They're both, I would say, comparable. I think they're, if you're being objective, they're both just as good, but in different ways. I think some have I think advantage. I, I draw to the Cincinnati one more. This doesn't mean it's better. I think yeah. I personally might like that one more. But I would need to see more recent pictures of the new one, of the crew, too. Yeah. But I, the, the Cincinnati would feel like a football stadium. Oh, yeah, it's definitely closer to that. Which rubs me the right way. Oh. Um... But I, I think it holds 26,000, so it's a little more than the crew. Theirs holds like 21,000. And when you first go in, the security is definitely good, but it was slower than the crew and didn't seem like that. It seemed like more of the regular technology. I like walked through metal detectors and everything. Um, and then we got tickets. There's a bunch of crew fans that traveled there, probably like 1,000 that took up a few sections at the top. And then they were sprinkled throughout the stadium. But that means like 25,000 fans were Cincinnati fans. And it was sold out? Yeah, it was right. sold out. And they had a lot of cool stuff too. The fireworks shooting from the top. So it was weird. Things were very similar but different at the same time. And the crew fans were somehow louder, which I told you I thought was just because I was in the middle of that. So it's going to sound louder. But online, everybody was saying how much louder it was, which you expect crew fans. They're like, they were seeing on TV, they want to hear it. But then Cincinnati fans were complaining yeah. and saying they were being too loud. And Come on, guys. Yeah. It's so it's kind of crazy that... That's probably why we tied. Yeah. Well, spoilers. Oh, spoilers, sorry. No, I'm joking. Um, it's kind of crazy that probably like 1,000 people are out numbering like 25,000. 
especially because they have their supporter section like the Nordic, the Bailey, as I told you. Mm. There's, yeah, they're one of the Broncos. They stole their colors, and then their supporter section, one of all-time great Broncos. Champ Stamp. We're talking yep, about. Champ Stamp Bailey. And <laughs> so kind of doing this backwards of the crew, talking about the stadium first. <clears throat> the uh, food there, they have La Rosa's Pizza. Oh, yeah. Which is. It's hard. Yeah, mm-hmm. one of my favorites. But Donato's really is too. I just, I think it's kind of like the stadiums. They're probably pretty comparable. I just had Donato so many times, but now I'm kind of used to it. So I like La Rosa more. But then they have Skyline, and yeah. fuck Skyline. I need and to have La Rosa's again. Let's do that. I think I've only had it once. A, oh, and it's awesome. It's good. We have a show for that. We do. I don't see how we would ever get here warm. Well, that's. Because we're taking it on the road. Seeing Kings Island pop. I hope so. That would be sweet. But you always said that was uh, how we could do it. We could reheat them for a few minutes. So. That's true. I'm down. I love reheated pizza. <laughs> All right. You're the princess. There it is. <laughs> but I, the main thing I would want at the crew stadium is Donato's. But a lot of people are freaking out about the food there, how many selections they have, and they have hot chicken takeover with feel love. <sighs> I don't know why. Yeah, I think it's okay. But they seem to have a big selection. Cincinnati seemed to have a decent selection, but La Rosa seemed to be the main draw, which is okay with me. Um, we talked in that episode about their stadium has this cool uh, LED light that goes all around and can change. And if they're smart, they do st- cool stuff for like Christmas, do light shows and whatnot. I'm sure they that's will. Planned. I hope they will. Yeah. I don't know why I hope I won't be there, but it'd be cool. <laughs> I just think it'd be silly not to. I'm with you. And the then, fly is huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the game itself couldn't have started off any worse. So, again, the crew had its starting goalie back. Yeah. But here's where this game was crazy. So the crew were missing 11 of their players. Yeah. So Cincinnati is not good. They haven't been since they came in the league. It's kind of a running joke. Mm-hmm. But that is a good amount of your roster. So Cincinnati, how many people are on the football field? Twelve. Um, well, there's eleven at a time. So these weren't all starters, oh, but oh, I mean, okay, okay, okay. But that's I think half of them were starters, <laughs> and that's still a lot of depth gone too. And so Cincinnati scored a goal. Um, I should have brought it up, but it was real early. It was no. couldn't be more draining. All the crew fans were losing it. You could tell the trash talk was getting yeah. up, yeah. and then. They just lost their minds. Oh, the sound system. I didn't talk about that. Sucks ass in the stadium. It's comparable to old crew stadium, which is nuts, especially compared since to the, new, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the <clears throat> new crew stadium. Um, so they're up one nothing. Then the crew fans are trying to get back into it and somehow still kind of drowning out. The Cincinnati fans, even after that excitement, died down. And then they score again. No good, right? No, no good. good. This is not a good score. No. And very similar to the last game I went to. Yeah. Um, in Almost Columbus. identical. Yeah. And what wasn't identical is I don't know if Cincinnati fans just don't know sports or what it is. And I'm a Reds fan. But they booed more than I've ever heard in my entire life. And not like at the crew players. And he called. It was not even que- not a questionable call anytime somebody falls over. Mm-hmm. Which anybody who watches soccer knows that the fucking main thing and I hate it and that's the thing that soccer fans get pissed up, off about and think it's amazing. Ties and flopping are just Yeah, the worst. flopping. Yeah. yeah, it fucking sucks. But I don't think they know that it's not like football, like NFL football, that when somebody falls it's not a big hit or a cheap shot. That's majority of how soccer is, just people no. fucking flopping. So they would not any time anybody got tossed just lose their damn minds and oh my I can't do this. I So then I start being sarcastic anytime a crew player got tossed oh he's on the ground oh do you see that and i could tell this girl next to me was she was not happy um she's not happy about it at all yeah she's a cincinnati fan fan? we were near the crew section but i got tickets too late so we're kind of on the outskirts so there's like half crew fans half cincinnati fans half fc fans as they call them Mm -hmm. and that's literally what they call them sadly because that's their name as i talked about that if uh columbus was dumb enough to follow through their name it could have had sc versus fc Mm. Sock club or football club. South Carolina club. versus Florida, Carolina. That's right. Florida, Carolina. Um, so the booing really did. It was pissing me off. I was like, this is so 
I don't know if you guys have not watched soccer or if you just Cincinnati just doesn't know sports because this is fucking nuts. And there was a crew fan in front of me. He's like, dude, yeah, this game has been called so one sided. I'm not really sure how they're even booing. He's like, even uh, my FC Cincinnati fan just texted me or friend just texted me. And he said, do these fans know what's going on? And I was like, yeah, I don't know if I'm losing my damn mind. These people are making me feel crazy. And then. So they keep getting calls their way, too, is the craziest thing. It's not, if anything, <laughs> it's getting called their way. And so we've had multiple yellow cards, and then one dude had two yellow cards, so he's got I a red that band. He's got a red card. He's out of the game. Bye. In soccer, it's kind of like hockey, where if you get a penalty, the other team's on power play, so they're one man down. Mm-hmm. But the difference is they're out the entire game. So the crew, after being down 2 nothing, are also down a player. So there's 11 against 10. Yeah. And then the crew scored the next two goals <laughs> and tied up. So on one hand, it's Cincinnati. They're kind of – they're doing a little better this year. But since they joined, they're kind of like the joke of the league and not even just kind of crew fan. They just have been ab- fucking abysmal. Mm-hmm. So that's a game that on paper you should feel like that's kind of embarrassing. They tied to them. But you break it down that they had half their team and then they were a player down and they went down two goals, which is their own fault. But they went down two goals and still got a tie out of it. I'm happy with that. Again, very anticlimactic way to leave. I was like, I don't know how you talk trash. Like, hey, you did just as good as we did. Hey, congratulations on uh, finishing the scene. Yeah. <laughs> um, I was waiting for them to somebody talk trash about how they could have gotten all the calls that didn't go our way or something, but surprised I didn't hear it. Um, but it was fun. And I went to the first Hell is Real in Cincinnati. They won that one, I think. Well, we didn't win that one. Four to one, I think. So that game was fucking so much fun to be at. The next one had no fans because during... Um, COVID. Yep. So I've been to all the ones that you could attend. And at least in Cincinnati. I actually didn't go to one Columbus, ironically enough. But hopefully we will this year. But um, I think that... That covers it, I think. Nice. And it went on for a little bit, but these are two stadium openings. Yeah. yeah. I was just here for the ride. The only other soccer news I had was, what am I looking at right now? You want to tell me? Well, real quick, the Rome game, it's coming home versus it's coming Rome, was decided by penalty kicks. Yeah, I heard people complaining about that. Yeah, I don't know. Penalty kicks is an interesting way to settle... I mean, it's always been soccer, so it makes sense. I think it's the most exciting thing ever. Um, but a, a national tie I don't know what they're called. I feel like I'm such an idiot when I talk about soccer. But, like, the country's cup, I don't know what it is. Um, Settled by penalty kicks. And apparently, like, some 19-year-old took the one for oh, yeah. its coming home team. And they are like, well, how about the balls of steel of that guy? Because he, he probably was like, hey, man, you got to go out and do it. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, he didn't. How heartbreaking would that be, though? And you don't get it. Oh my god! Especially there. That's that's another reason why, even if I could get into overseas, I wouldn't even really want to go because it sounds fucking terrifying going to one of those games. All that's, I know about those kind of games are the uh, what are they called? The like street gangs that are associated with all those. That's soccer what I mean. Clubs? Yeah, the fires and the fights. Yeah. Like, I'm, obviously, at MLS, I'm sure you've had fist fights. You've had dumb stuff, but generally, they apparently have them too. The Columbus one's called the Columbus Hooligans. Oh, that's um, maybe there has been some fight or something, but that's like a what do you call it, tongue in cheek. Yeah. It's not they act like they're. That's like the joke that they're not actually. Yeah, just a, a group of people though that like take it serious. Mm. Yeah, because everything I've seen, like I said, I'm sure there is times people have fought or yeah. douchebags. That's at everything, but generally it's like fun trash talk, and yeah. that's that's we'll why I fuck like you in the ass if you fuck us in the ass type of thing. Yeah. Yep. The only other soccer news I had was the U.S. beat Haiti. They won one to nothing. They're seven one on the year. A lot of former crew players on this team. Woo. And no crew. Woo. Oh, woof sorry. woof. <laughs> Led by Greg Bull. Berhalter, I just lost my fucking sentence there for a second. Former Berhalter, Berhalter, Berhalter. Okay. You're just trying to make me fuck up again. No, no, no. I I didn't get what his name was because of the fuck up. But uh, he's a former crew coach, and their U.S. team is seven and one. And Jossie Zardes, crew player, 
is the second fastest uh, U.S. men's national player to get to double-digit goals and assist. Woo. So the U.S., I think, uh, is trending in the right direction. We'll see what happens. Besides, can I show you this jersey? Sure. Oh, no. So they wore their away jerseys for the first time. Is it time. light blue? No, their home jerseys are navy blue. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Their away is this. And I thought at first it's really fucking cool. Tell me what's wrong here. Maybe you won't see it or you are okay with it. But something's fucking messed up here. Is it that? No. Maybe I'm just particular about this kind of shit. Because I was, I was literally uh, on the store about to buy one. I was like, I can't do it. What is? What are they doing? Should I show you? It looks fine to me. It just looks like it's like they cut off the image right there. And like it's off center. That bothers me more than anything. Well, maybe you're pointing at... Are you pointing here? The line? No, that's because the shirt is folded. It's not, though. Isn't that crazy? Oh. Yeah, yeah it's the a line. It's a fucking design. Let me show you the real website. Yeah, that's that's a fair assumption. Um, well, yeah, it's the same thing under the USA and under his armpit. That's what I was saying. I, did, I thought that was where the shirt was folded, Oh, though. yeah, it is doing that. No, yeah, that's that's a design pattern. I don't know why it doesn't just follow the entire jersey, because I think it looks really clean, but then... I don't um, hate it. No? no? Oh, God, it drives me fucking nuts. Because it's consistent. If it was just, like, one thing that was off, it would drive me fucking crazy. But it's consistent, I guess. You also said you liked the uh, cruise stadium, their seats, and I told you it drives me fucking crazy for the same reason. Yeah. Neither so. CT, apparently. Not really. But... <laughs> See, look, here's where it really comes to uh, your attention. It literally looks like they just put half of a jersey onto that jersey. It yeah. does. It does just look like they it on there. sewed it together. Yeah. I don't mind it, though. All right. Hey, to each their own, you know? Yeah. Should we talk about some baseball? So Let's do maybe? it. I love baseball. Um, I can talk first if you want. I just feel like I haven't talked forever so anymore. Hog oh, conversation. I, I said before this I don't have a lot to offer today. <laughs> um, I tried, too. It's just there's not. I'm ready for football season to start. That's Are what it comes down to. Are you ready for some football? Will Prescott or Mahomes' biggest cha- wait? Will Prescott be Mahomes' biggest challenger for MVP? Hmm. That's literally what this title is. No, I settled that one. I think it's gonna be Baker Mayfield. Man, let's hope so. Oh, can't wait to not hear the end of that. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yep. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Yep. Indians. Oh, my God. Let's go Indians first because they're the first name I found. Indians are 45 and 42 now, so it seems like they've done the opposite of what they were doing. <laughs> they are in second in oh. the central, but they are eight games behind, so don't worry too much. They are on a win streak of three, apparently, so that's not what I was expecting. But in their last ten, they're three and seven. So they're, I'm assuming, still fine, but not on not a good trajectory. Mariners, the Marinators, <laughs> oh. the Ken Griffey Juniors, are 48 and 43. <laughs> nice. Fucking still in third in the West. <laughs> Seven games out of first, so they're fucked. <laughs> Three and a half away from the A's, though. Let's see how their last few games have gone, shall we? Hey, what? Let's shall. Um, so they played the Rangers split. Nope, they won two of three. Then they played the Yanks. Lost 12 to 1. <laughs> and then 5 to 4 they lost and then they won 4-0. So lost 1 to 2 on there. Then they played the Angels and they 2 to 1. Oh, that is still going. That's a big one. They're up 2-1 and there's 1 2 3 more to play. That's it. They're That's doing it. good. All right. But I don't think it matters. <laughs> That's all you got? That's all I got. That's always, always, always usually what I talk about. During oh, it's baseball, okay. So. I just didn't want to pass over you. So, last time we talked, the crew were <clears throat> the we Reds. The, crew. <laughs> the Reds were 39 and 38 and six games out of the first in NL Central. Yep. They are now 48 and 42 and four games out of the NL Central and are 8 and 2 in their last 10. And the two losses they've had. 
were both fucking blown by the bullpen and reliever. So the main issue the Reds have had for quite a while, especially this season. And even a couple of games they won, they almost blew because of the bullpen. So that's bullpen. I really hope they can make some trades because, like I said, the they have a team that could literally go to the World Series if they just get a couple more pieces there. But if they just keep the bullpen as is, it's going to be a struggle. We uh, haven't talked since they... He has some cute little color to him. Damn it, I just missed him. Trying to get this fly in here. I think he has a whole family, though, if we kill him. But uh, last time we talked... Or last time Trevor was on here... Travel. We talked about the All-Star game, and the voting went through. Mm-hmm. Nick Cassianos and Jesse Winker were the uh, All-Stars for the Reds. The All-Star game has been played. The AL, unfortunately, won 5-2. to two. But... It doesn't matter because... Am I excited it, about that? Yeah, you are. That's both your teams. Um, Fuck yeah. It used to decide home field advantage for the World Series, and they took that away a few years ago. So, I mean, I would want the NL to win, but now it really doesn't matter. Hmm. Yeah, I think... I think uh, I get why they got rid of it. I think it was an interesting idea because, you know, all-star games are fucking pointless. Nobody yeah. puts in any effort, so I think that gave some motivation, but I think that was too big of a yeah. a decision to make for something like that. Um, but the Reds didn't do much in it. Nick Cassianos went 0 for 2. Jesse Winker went 0 for 1 with a walk. So that's, that was all that happened there. I didn't even actually watch any of the All-Star or the Home Run Derby. I usually love watching Home Run Derby. I, didn't see anything. I watched some of the Home Run Derby. Did you? I did. Although I was at Roosters. I didn't, like, turn it on. It was on while I was at Roosters. Yeah, it's usually fun to watch. I thought Nick Cassianos would be in it because he's fucking destroying with home runs. But The didn't. guy that won it last year won it again, right? Probably. Yeah, that's how little I caught of it. Well, actually, I did see it happening, but I was in the ER when that was happening. Mm-hmm. So I saw it, but couldn't really watch it, you know? Well, that seems a little bit more important, but... Yeah. <clears throat> I do have some Indians news for you. Oh, sure. So I don't know if you sure, heard. It's horrible. There's uh, some rumors from their ownership about how they might be trying to get out of Cleveland. Really? Because I just heard they're about to change the name between, they're between two names. I know, yeah. That's why rumors are fucking stupid. <laughs> well, I mean, the ru- this part could be a rumor, I mean, as far as them leaving, but definitely is something that is potentially happening because Mike DeWine said that um, he doesn't think that that will happen, and he's optimistic the long- long-term extension will be signed for Progressive Field because it is going to expire in 2023. He said that he expects, like I said, a long-term deal in the area of 15 years. But if they don't sign the extension, then they don't have a place to play, and then oh, okay. you do that whole thing. So that seems reassuring, though. Um, a lot of people are thinking that it's a tactic move to try and to get the stadium improved mm. or trying to get upgrades. Um, it's a nice stadium. Yeah, I don't it was know a, a lot about them actually, but no, no, it's newer and it was renovated, so that's what. Nice. People are having issues with it, and nice. they're having issues because Mike DeWine said that he wants to use, um, what do you call it? Fucking, I'm blanking. Uh, twenty-seven year olds. Oh yeah, that's fucking terrifying. Nineteen ninety four would be twenty-seven years ago, but uh, public tax money for it is the debate. So that's why mm-hmm. people are having an issue with it because we would be paying for it, or the people of. Are you paying for it? Um, as much as I hate Cleveland, I don't want them to go away. I mean, they're not going to be the Indians, so they won't be going away. It does seem like an odd time because if they're going to waste time to rebrand, then might as well wait till you're out of the city and I'm saying. switch like your team name. Between two names at this point. So they're clearly still moving forward with that. And he literally said that he plans there to be a long-term deal done it's probably just the same thing of all these scheduling things that at the end of a end of a contract they have to say the right thing and scare tactics and i'm sure a long-term deal get done they probably already have one in place they just gotta wait for a few things it'd be kind of lame for them to leave they've been a team for a long time in cleveland yeah like i said i don't want teams to move even if i hate them that's why i told you i don't I'm mad that the Raiders left. I do think 
like I've always said, there is a value, a valid reason sometimes to leave if enough circumstances happen. And as much as I hate them, they've been consistently good recently mm-hmm. in recent history. And in recent history, they've been one of the worst drawing teams, worse than the Reds. And the Reds have been fucking horrendous aside from this year. So I do think there's a case to be made for it. But I don't think just that is enough unless that continues long term when you have a stadium that is well equipped for it. Yeah. And um, as much as I hate Cleveland, I would hate it for the fans that really care. But it doesn't seem like that's a big audience if the Reds can outdraw them when. They're one of the worst teams in the league. That's not, and the Indians were on the verge of the World Series. I feel like hmm, that's odd. Every time I've gone to an Indians game, which is pretty regularly, they've usually been almost sold out, if not sold out. Yeah, you must have went to some big ones because I remember even uh, Indians fans were pissed off because the playoffs couldn't even sell out, and they mm-hmm. were, and like hardcore Indian fans were. You know, this is why we're not gonna have a team if you guys don't show up and. But yeah, even the regular season, the Reds have outdrawn them. Uh, I'd have to look it up, and we can talk about next episode, but they've all outdrawn them quite a few times in the past 10 years, and the Reds have not been good in the past 10 years, and the Indians have consistently been in the playoffs. So, I said, I do think there's a case to be made, but I think there has to be more than just that. Yeah, there's no way that would be enough to get rid of a franchise that's been around for that long. You're looking at something up? Yeah, um... Did you hear the two names they're debating between? I like have no worry about them leaving Cleveland. So, no, like one percent. No, like it's obviously a possibility, but I, I just don't see that. That's interesting, but I don't think it's gonna do anything. Did you hear the two names though? Mm-hmm. I think one is Spiders, and the other one is Guardians. Guardians is kind of cool. Where the hell is that? This is like there's a, a reason for it, and I don't remember it. But there's a good reason for it. I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, though. But I read it, and I was because I thought that was, I was like the Guardians. That's weird. And then they explained it's because of this. I don't have it right here, so I can't tell you. But it was a good reason. I mean, if I had it in front of me, I would tell you, but I don't. Yeah, if there is a reason that'd be better, and I do think it's a good name. They got some cool ass designs for them too. But I feel like it'd be cool to have something. That's uh, unique since that's already been a name. That's not gonna fly, literally. Where is the other? There's a really fucking cool one. Way cooler than the stupid spiders one. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. I do think there is something to it, whether it's uh, leverage or Just whether like the it... end of a contract. Is that not like a normal thing? No, the end of the contract. We don't know what's gonna happen, but. Mostly they do know what's going to happen? Uh, I mean, for, like, contracts as far as playing, definitely, but season or stadiums usually isn't much of a debate. It's kind of like a locked-up thing. And the governor saying that I think is a good sign, but I wouldn't say that that's, like, oh, a sign that it is going to happen because he's on the side. Obviously, if they leave, that's not good for him or the state. So, of course, he's going to put out a good message. So, I don't think that necessarily means that that is in place. I think he's like, oh, shit. No. That doesn't mean it's not. But I'm saying, I feel like, a, of course, he would say that yeah. because he's said anything else that's not good. That would just be such a... Yeah, like I don't have a category for that. So, that's like a... I'll wait a couple of years to see how I feel about that. But I have no reason to even put any stock on that. I hear it. I also uh, don't really care. <laughs> My wife's family would be crushed they live up there they go all the time they're diehard lifelong indians fans so they're already distraught about wahoo and the name changing so oh. good people so are they gonna say they're lifelong spider fans is that what you do or you're... just the lifelong fans of the team then cleveland I, I don't know after it changes i feel weird saying like i'm a lifelong fan of a team that has We're a different still, name. Well, it's still the same team. This is where the, we differ. No, but I'm saying, not even debating that. I'm just saying, like, do yeah, you, you say you're a lifelong fan lifelong. of Cleveland? Yeah. I feel like saying you're a lifelong Spiders fan sounds fucking weird. You would be at that point, too. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've always been a fan of this team. You don't have to. I've been a fan of the Spiders my whole life. The Indians weren't the Indians all the time. Right? They weren't always the Indians, were they? Uh, what well, it used to be, the Spiders. Yeah, so people say I've been a lifelong Indians fan. 
Well, I think that's because it is their whole life. Like, their mm-hmm. life is the Indians. Yeah, you would just call it. I'm sure Washington still say I'm a long-term Redskins fan until they say I'm, until they get a team name, if they get a team name. So, I don't know. You put it, those people probably still call them the Indians. That's probably what's going to happen. Yeah. Probably what I'll do. Unless the new name's cool, like Guardians. I like that one. Especially the logos. The the. I'm, at this point, I'm about the jerseys. You're going to name it something badass. Make the jerseys cool. His spider's badass? No. No, 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 no. I'll fully go Mariners. Like, I won't even have, like, a category for the spiders. But the Guardians got some cool-looking stuff there. I just can't help but think the XFL because the New York Guardians. I know not many people are going to think that. I just... Yeah, definitely not. It makes it sound minor league to me. Oh, yeah. It's definitely not. The spiders would be way worse, though. That's, like, so oh, much yeah. more. That's, like, minor. That's, like, childs. Like, oh, we got the spiders versus the apes. I can't remember if I talked about them here or not. Did I tell you an amazing team that moved up to AAA baseball in you... El Paso? No. It's the El Paso Chihuahuas. Ooh. And I thought it was a joke. I thought it was... What's not... the red minor team name? The Bats. What's the Indians? The Clippers. One of, one of them has a funny fucking name. The Phillies. What's the Phillies? Oh, God. I'll look it up. Also, you could be thinking of not AAA. Most teams have multiple minor league, like the Reds have the Dragons. Still not it. No. Uh... No. Yeah, I'm trying not it to... either. It doesn't matter. You can keep saying what you're saying. You want to see the logo for the El Paso Chihuahuas? Oh God, sure. All right, ready? Yep. That is awful. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, look at the special night they had. They wore these. No shot. That's real. Oh, it is. This wow. for, that's not like a real jersey, but they did it for a night. The Akron Rubber Ducks. That's not it, but that's a funny one. This is pretty good. Look at the mascot with the oh, he's cute. I just don't know how you fucking name your team the Chihuahuas. <laughs> Even for minor league baseball, that is nuts. Montgomery Biscuits is one of them. <laughs> That's not the one I was thinking of either. I'm on the Biscuits in the show. Oh. In MLB the show. Yeah. I gotcha. Oh, dude, what is this fucking name? The wing nut, that's funny. <laughs> oh, all right, I'm gonna look at this website, and if it's not here, I'll, I'll move on. The Sea Dogs, that was, that's obviously <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that girl was ahead of her time, that lids. <laughs> the New Orleans Baby Cakes. <laughs> Sea Dogs logo is not good. <laughs> it's even Portland. It looks like close. Oh, God. That's all. I can't find it, but uh, Biscuits is funny and uh, Baby Cakes is good. I'm glad we found that. Should we toss some hockey? Some hacky? Yeah. I love college. Why, why did you go to college hockey? We don't have to do this. <laughs> um, sure, let's talk some hockey. All right, you have anything you want to talk about? Mm-mm. No? Nope. Kraken hired assistant coaches. Okay. The draft is in like eight days. It's a loose number. It could be seven, could be nine, could be six, could be ten. So the expansion draft is June or July 21st. The so six um, days. NHL draft, official draft, is July 23rd and 24th. Okay. So I was... Kind of, I said both numbers yeah. at one point. Um, so that's exciting. Kraken hired some more coaches. Uh, don't doesn't matter to me. I don't know who they are. Um, that's it. I'm ready. That's it. All right. Should we start with the sad news first or end it? We should probably end it with that, right? Okay. So we can start with the Stanley Cup is officially over. Went to five games. This is me holding. Um, oh, that's. I have a little one over there. We should have got it. Ow. Um. The Lightning won in five games, won one to nothing in game five. Yeah. Fuck them, but go USA, keeping Canada out of being winners, you know? I don't care about that at all. I do, and I hate the Lightning, but I think it's hilarious that they can't win their own sport. 
didn't uh, a Canadian team win the NBA thing last year? In the last couple of years? Toronto? I don't think so. I think Toronto made it far, but I don't think they won it. I think they did win it recently. Doesn't matter. I just I thought that was funny, though. I don't think they did. It was possible, though, because I don't pay as much attention to basketball, so definitely a possibility. Yeah, they won it in 2019. Did they? Well, they can have basketball, you know. Um, like I said, the NHL draft is coming up. The Blue Jackets are doing a watch party for the draft at Nationwide Arena. Woo. So it's free to go to. There's going to be players sign autographs there and all kinds of events and everything, and you can watch the picks from there. The Blue Jackets have three first-round picks. Nice. So what I'm more hopeful for is trades. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of picks. Yeah. So hoping that's some kind of package deal. <clears throat> and... Seth Jones will probably no longer be a Blue Jacket, whether it's during the draft or later. That's sad because he was the one that I only – only because it's the only one that I knew. Yeah. And he wore number three. I like it when people wear three. We talked about a couple weeks ago about how this came out of nowhere, and we didn't know if it was kind of we talked about with Cleveland, like a bargaining chip, if this was real or not. Yeah. And it's definitely still possible that's what the case is, but it really doesn't seem like it. Um, Chicago just traded for his brother, and there's rumors, uh, Caleb Jones, and there's rumors that they're trying to get both of them, and then mm-hmm. they trade for him, and then they cut Duncan Keith, which is a huge contract, so people are thinking that. To make probably, Yeah. So, I feel multiple ways about it. Um, as you know, and not even being a huge Blue Jack fan, the Blue Jacks have consistently got fucked over by players leaving, and nobody's sticking around. So it made me hate a lot of players. I always said that if a player leaves in the right way, I'd be bummed because they're talented or because I like them. But there's nothing wrong with leaving if you're not a douche about it. That's just kind of part of how it is. That's why I hated when LeBron left the way he did, not mm-hmm. because he left. Um, and at first, I was like, this fucking happened again. And I think every Blue Jack fan is just so used to this happening now that everything just gets compiled together. Mm-hmm. But I do think there needs to be some separation because all he said was, they want to test free agency at the end of his contract this year. Yeah, it's reasonable. Yeah, which is reasonable. I think you never know until it happens, but I think there's a good chance that that means he's not re-signed to the Blue Jackets. And Yeah, um, probably. Yeah. There's definitely a chance he could still come back, though. Yeah, just, it feels like it's not made. That's because of all the negativity that's he's happened good with too, him. right? He is good. The past testing couple free agency years. wouldn't be like, oh, he'll probably go through free agency. Yeah, that's why I think he'd sign somewhere else because the Blue Jackets, <clears throat> um, they do pay well. That's part of the reason I told you it's weird that everybody just keeps moving to these different arguments about what the Blue Jackets need and why people don't resign, but they still can't afford as much as New York or something like that with teams just throwing around money. Um, but the past couple of years, his stats have dropped off, so I don't know if that's him or not wanting to be there or if yeah, he's just not as good what it is so I don't know this could be one of the cases where he was a top player and they trade him and it might really work out but I especially can't I can't blame them for if they do trade him as much as it would suck because this has happened way too many times where they keep player around too long and then they get absolutely nothing for him so when you have a player like this that is probably going to get a huge package back even though it sucks to lose him I don't think he can afford another. Well, we'll yeah. wait out and see if he resigns, and then he just goes in free agency for nothing. Yeah. yeah. Why the fuck did we wait for this again? We knew what was going to happen. But yeah, at the same time, um, I do. It is a little annoying. Oh god, the lights. Oh, you know the power is going out. You see the light flickering. Um, it just I think it made that fly freaking it out. That's probably why the flies are all around here. All of our lights. Um, These fucking flies are. <laughs> There's only like two of them though. Yeah, just one of them big and green. Ooh, but like the Hulk. ooh. So I don't know. I feel multiple ways about it. I think he's been one of the players that's spoken up the most about players leaving. Now, if they don't want to play for Columbus, he don't want them here. So I think it's a little lame that he's just like, yeah, I'm a test free agency. Not like, yeah, of course I want to be in Columbus when he's one of these people who've been preaching it. But at the same he time. Didn't leave early. So yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That's why I'm not gonna hate him like I do other players because that's always done. Is said that he's gonna test free agency. No, your package is it's contagious. So we'll see what happens. I think they would be smart to trade him. I don't think it's worth the risk of the potential of what yeah. could happen. <clears throat> um, but it'll be 
interesting to see what goes on with it. Um, what else here? I looked up the expansion rules. It is the same as when the Golden Knights came in. Is so, it? Yeah. I so. read something that they were adding like another protected player, but maybe it's something they were proposing or something, and it didn't actually go through. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's the same, and it's even more fucked up because every team is vulnerable except the Golden Knights. So. Uh, <laughs> so we can't even steal anybody from them. Yeah. That sucks. Uh huh. It's got like, wow. This is just some fucking bullshit. So next year we'll be immune to people stealing from us. Well, there's or is not that just like a special thing for the Golden Knights. Well, if there's a new team, I would figure they'd do oh, the same. But yeah, yeah, there's, a new team. yeah. So we'll see what happens there. That's I cannot wait to get my Kraken sweater. Ooh. You've done pretty well so far. You just only one boo. I know. I'm trying to contain it for you, but I appreciate it. It's I really hard. hate that you do it. Well, hey, Luke Wilson is on the Kraken Twitter. That's the everyone knows him. Yeah, He's the, the Seattle tight end. He's oh, from Canada. I thought it was Owen Wilson's brother. Um, that is his name, right? I think so. Two L's for this one, though. <laughs> um, just for the record, Jay Leach and Paul McFarland are the, are the assistant coaches for the Kraken. Yeah, I don't know them, but I don't know a lot of assistant coaches that don't mean him bad. Yeah. I want to just really quick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They, I think they tweeted about it. So just really quick. Mm-hmm. All my shit is on Twitter. All the information that I have. Oh, man, you got to check out all your shit. Dude, look at this fucking so clean. I can't believe you don't like it. I really can't believe you don't like it. Oh, I told you I think it's a good logo. And I like the colors. I just fucking, I hate how set up this team's going to be. And I hate that they just picked a cool name to have a cool name. It has nothing. There's like no tie. There's no. Water. We've already talked about this. There's water. <laughs> That's... There's not going to be a fucking Kraken in the water of Seattle. Every thing isn't real. A blue jacket's not a real thing, is it? It is, and that's actually really cool. It's um, because Ohio had um, the most people fighting in the Civil War oh, for the North. About this. Yeah. What's a red wing? That's when it's some really gross sexual term. Uh, do you think that's what they named it after? It's not just a no, red wing. Um, I can't remember if it's something to do with flight or not. I'm sure it is. But fuck the Red Wings. Um, Kraken's badass as fuck. And if you're going to... What's a Seahawk? That's just cool to be cool. It's literally That's, a made yeah, thing. Yeah, they're a fucking city. They just do it. They're just like... It's fucking awesome. What's a Raider? What's a fucking Brown? What's a... You think I'm going to defend the Browns here? <laughs> <laughs> and I know what a Brown is, but I it's fucking it's idiotic. Stupid, yeah. What's a... I mean, a lot of them actually do make sense. I got some football news for you, Let's actually. Talk football. We haven't done the Browns. Yet. Ooh, I love the Browns. There's a rumor. Well, not a rumor. It's real. Did you see the announcement they're going to make? Are they signing someone? No, I was going to try and find a date. It's sometime this month, they have uh, the mural where LeBron used to be, you know, in Cleveland. I do, the, uh, yeah. Yeah. They have... A Baker one. No, a Browns player there, but the jersey's blocked out. The uniform's blocked out. So I think we're about to do the same dumb thing where they have a uniform that looks 99% the same. Uh, and everybody's like, holy shit, this one actually looks really good. I can't believe people are like <laughs> shitting themselves. This jersey looks identical to the last one. <laughs> the word Cleveland isn't right here. And everyone's like, this is the cleanest fucking jersey we've ever had. I'm like, this is the same jersey you've had for 100 years. Yeah, and when they had the same one, they're like, we need something flashier. And they got something different. That we need something traditional. I think So they're they... making a new jersey already? My that's, buddy just bought a, a alternate jersey. They didn't so say sad. that, but that's what people are assuming. If it's not that, I think it's pretty bad advertising because it does seem to. That's super sad. He just seem... bought a uh, Higgins, Rashad Higgins, which is a obscure wide receiver, and he didn't get the client. He has a Mayfield jersey, so I think I also have the Chubb jersey, so I had to get someone weird. They're white ones. I actually don't mind but because it's less brown than it is anything else. Yeah, so I just can't believe we're about to potentially do this again because you know they're gonna freak out. Yeah, Holy right. shit! Maybe it's their alternate. Maybe it's their um, now that everyone can have a different alternate. Maybe it's just that. You saw the great meme pure posting about how uh, the Browns finally put their logo on their helmet, right? Is it just another helmet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. I cannot wait till people announce their new alternates. Yeah. I want to see Seattle so bad. I really don't give a shit about any other team. I just want to see Seattle. That's really all I'm waiting on. Any other hockey news? Nope. All right. Well, we can end with the... Go Tampa Bay Lightning.
There it is. We can end with the saddest news of a sad uh, episode. Yeah. Has this episode been sad? This beginning was sad because it didn't fucking record. That was sad. Um, Sherman's sad. Alex Gibbs. Alex Gibbs is sad. Yeah. Fuck it. Let's just be sad. Cincinnati. FC Cincinnati. Friday the saddest cool. thing. Why is that the saddest thing? Because have you seen him? Oh, them yeah. as like a yeah. thing is the worst yeah, thing. Yeah, not sad in Two the real way. and suicide. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's talk a little goalie. Yeah. Yeah. Segway. <laughs> Speaking of goalies, <laughs> Blue Jackets going to need a new one. Oh, yikes. Um, so this was their backup. Oh, was like, it? Yeah. I was going to say uh, thankfully. That sounds terrible. But yeah. You know I mean. All this is awful. Um, yeah. But he also was 24, yeah. and um, he, only, he played very few games, and he was potentially going to be a star. So he's a backup and didn't play many games, yeah. but he had a – his his status doesn't matter. It's just so sad. Oh no! Yeah, I'm, oh, I, yeah. I know. I know. It's just that's crazy. Yeah, he. Uh, Who was his name? Uh, Great night. Do you have it there? Yeah. No, I know it. You're. Just, you're I just you're want to make sure we say his name. Why? Is it a weird name? No, it is. But I know it. Um, Matisse Kiff Lennox. Oh God! Didn't even know that. <laughs> I read it too. <laughs> Matisse mm-hmm. Gif Lennox. Kiff Lennox. Kiff Lennox. Yeah. Okay. But um, yeah, talking about hockey, obviously, it's not the most important thing about it. I'm just yeah, doing yeah, that yeah. to get to a more serious thing. Um, he also played the last two games of last season, okay. which kind of it's just kind of creepy thinking about it because he doesn't typically play. So the fact that he just randomly played the last two games, <laughs> yeah. and he won the last game last game they ever played so yeah that's no yeah it's weird talking about but it is true and that's what a lot of the coaches and players have talked about they talk about it like that because obviously that's your dream so yeah you got to do one that's yeah um 24 and yeah 24 and he played those last two games because they were trending into making him a potential starter Mm. so it's even more fucked up and yeah he's 24 and it happened during fourth of july and he was at, I don't know if you know the whole thing. He was at a wedding. I, and, I read the story. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he did. It's all, all fucked up. They were at a wedding for Blue Jackets goaltending coach, Manny Legacy. And Matisse Kiplenix was there. And Elvis Merlin, Merce Lincolns was there. That's their starting goalie. And his wife, and his wife is pregnant. And um, Kip Lennox and Merce Lincolns are best friends. And to the point where they said that, his kid was going to be, they were going to refer to him as an uncle. Okay. So they were like that close to each other. But yeah, what happened was there was fireworks shooting off and the mortar launcher tipped sideways and started shooting at them in a hot tub. So at first I was like, this sucks, but it sounds like incident where they were being stupid with fireworks and yeah. probably did something dumb, which I'm lucky that didn't happen with me with how I handle fireworks. I can't judge. I'm just saying I, I figured a, that a funny fireworks story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah I'll, t- I'll tell after this. Um, so I figured that, but it makes it even more fucked up that they weren't like being idiots and he had literally no control over it and just happened to be in the wrong spot. Just hit him right and, in the chest, right? Just fucking. Yeah, hit him in the chest. I don't. The, initially, the report was that he was trying to get away from it and fell out of the hot tub and hit his head. Yeah, I knew, but, yeah that, was, that was debunked pretty quick, right? Yeah, because he was trying to get out, but the, the shell hit him and they fell over because of that. I don't know if it blew up or not, but if, even if it didn't come at you at that speed, it's pretty much like Assuming a bullet the hitting you. Yeah, hitting your so heart probably doesn't. Yeah, it's just a giant bullet shooting at you, <clears throat> which couldn't be more fucked up way to go, especially when you're around um, all your best friends and people consider you like yeah. family. And the day before that was a wedding for that, so I can't imagine everybody in that like obviously that his shit. Yeah. that anniversary is gonna suck ass every year. Uh huh. Yeah, he's obviously the worst part of this, but then everybody that is still left behind is going to be so fucked up from it. And um, Manny Legacy, the coach and uh, the dad of the who are in the wedding, um, he said that, uh, well, when they had a memorial service today and it was public, well, it was streamed. Mm-hmm. And it was, I only watched part of it, but it was so fucked up watching him talk yeah, about it. And he said that 
his like a son do him. And I was like, this is so fucked up. And then Elvis said that um, he literally, he said that people aren't going to believe it, but he stood up in front of it to block it, block the bullet from hitting him and his wife because his wife was pregnant. Mm-hmm. So he literally took the bullet for them. And I was like, that's so fucked up. And I hope it, that's true. Yeah, I hope it's yeah. not just like trying to make him a hero, but. Yeah, if he was only 24 and didn't really play many games in the NHL, and if you hear people talk about him throughout the league, nobody will show up about how good of a person was and how just like the best person to be around. So it seems like the kind of thing that probably is true, as crazy as it seems. And Elvis said that he's going to name his kid, uh, or he said his second name because they're overseas, but his middle name, mm-hmm. he's going to name this uh, Mat- Matisse. So that's pretty cool. And uh, but yeah, just an all around fucked up situation. Yeah, I hate fireworks. Yeah. Always have. Oh, I fucking love them, but yeah. never liked them. Like I said, I'm, I know I'm lucky because I like this. Like I said, that's just fucking terrible luck because you weren't the one doing it. But I've done some real dumb shit. Yeah, they've always scared me. It's even fucked up because this year two weird things have happened. During Fourth of July, I was like, oh man, <clears throat> someone's gonna fucking die because of fireworks this year. I thought that just because it's like, oh, the odds of that happening are probably pretty high. Because people are fucking stupid. And I think the next day I read about that. And the other weird thing that happened was I was like, I hate the UFC. I think it's stupid and I hate people getting hurt. I hate watching it. I was like, and I don't watch it. Apparently, but yeah. the McGregor Poirier fight was happening, which I guess we probably should have talked about that on a sports podcast. We can talk about it right now. Um, it wasn't that fun. Um, I feel like McGregor lost. They're both horrible pieces of shit. And I wish they both broke their legs. So, yeah, I don't care about fights either but i remember mayweather versus mcgregor i was like dude you need mcgregor win mayweather's an asshole like, they both no, they're piece both of shit. So horrible I don't... humans yeah. i, I kind of like mcgregor because i like accept that he's an asshole he's not like trying to be nice he's just an asshole that's like his thing so i'm kind of cool with it <laughs> um mayweather thinks he's better than you and he's an asshole they're both pieces of shit all of them are pieces of shit um but i was like i'm gonna watch this fight I was like, someone's probably going to break their leg because I'm watching it. And the whole time I was watching it, I felt sick to my stomach. <laughs> and I was like, someone's going to fucking break a leg. And fucking McGregor broke his leg. Yeah, that's all I saw. I heard he broke his leg, so I had to look at the video. And I was like, oh, fuck. It's a crazy break, <laughs> too. It was, um, this, it, it was interesting to me to want to watch it because it's two people that genuinely fucking hate each other and just want to kill one another. So I, was like, I want to legally see people try to do that. So I should have watched it. Um, but that's just weird things that have been happening to me. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, I fucking hate fireworks. And uh, this is just – I know it's probably not it's statistically like a pretty rare thing. The APP thing, the Matisse thing, the – I have bad experiences from childhood. Just I don't like fireworks, and this is fucking sad. You, oh no, it definitely is. You don't even like watch him like from real far, like Red White and Boom or something. Not really. I've wow. never been about him. I every I've been to Red White and Boom I think twice. Once it was with you. And uh, every other year I'll watch him on TV. And this year, I'd, and I think the past few years I haven't even gone. This I didn't year. go this year either. Yeah, I just yeah. I mean, fire, fireworks are. It. I hit the keyboard. Fireworks, I think, are cool looking. I just. They're not like, I don't know. They're cool, but I don't think they're that. I feel you. They're pretty, and they could be interesting. And they're loud. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't have that much of an affinity for them. That's all. I feel you. Oh, my funny story. Yeah. I was at my buddy's house. I don't. I, don't, I had up in his balls. Yeah, they were right here. And I. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. I don't know what these things were, but you light them, and then they explode. Um, I don't think it was a mortar, because I think I wouldn't have a hand. M80? Maybe. Are they pretty powerful? It can be. <clears throat> Are they balls? Um, no, not typically. Okay. It was a ball. Okay. Maybe. I don't know what it was. It was a ball. You light it. <clears throat> you're supposed to... I, I think you're supposed to... It might have been a mortar. Maybe like a bitch one, though. Yeah, that sounds like a shell to one that you drop into it. But yeah, not like Red White and Boom style. More yeah, like yeah, I think you should buy this at like any store. Yeah. 
but we were lighting them in our hands and throwing them, right? Because mm-hmm. that's a cool thing to do. Well, they were especially doing over it. your head. Well, we were throwing them that okay. way. But I was just in here. But I lit one, <clears throat> and Jeez. the few, the fuse, sh- uh, like shorted. Like when it reached, it's supposed to go. Th- yeah. Right, it went and blew up in my hand. Um, and I had sunglasses on, and I never. When's, uh, when have you ever seen me wear sunglasses? Never. I don't like them because I think I'm gonna look like a douche. But I had them on for some reason, and I still don't understand how I have hands. Um, because it probably wasn't that powerful of a mortar. It probably wasn't even a mortar, but it, it and it blew up in my hand, and it went. It was like an Acme, like a the Road Runner, and it, and it like burnt my fucking shit, my mustache, my eyelids, my uh, eyebrows, and I had I took off the sunglasses and I had the fucking you know what I mean, the mark of where it was, and I was literally <coughs> coughing black smoke, and there was just yeah it was crazy I was the smoke lost. monster yeah there we go um it was fucking nuts and I had no injury I almost vomited I was just I ran into the bathroom <clears throat> and there was just so much like I was just so much snot and coughing out smoke and my hands were fine and I was fine I just was I felt burnt my face felt burnt your hands weren't bleeding or anything no may your magic may I should try again hey. with a red white and boom order yeah it's lighter right here <laughs> um no, but since that day, I've actually never lit a firework, and that was in high school. Should we change that? I mean, I would. At this point, I think I there they are. There is a level of unpredictability with them, but I would I would go with people, and I would stand back. And yeah, hope one doesn't tip over. I mean, if I do it now, I don't do it like I used to. Go, oh, how crazy we can do it! I try and be as safe as I can, and still do them. Yeah, because I realize now that I'm older. How many I remember times it could die. Jeremy and Nick and all them would like light shit in their hands and like shoot at each other and Oh yeah, I would never intentionally do stuff to other people. I would just set up situations that definitely could have done stuff to us. <laughs> you ever had a Roman candle fight? I did that. No. Where you light Roman candles and you shoot them at Yeah, no, I'd see if people started doing that stuff, I would get so pissed because I would never intentionally do it. I've definitely done that. Which is interesting, given my recent stance. I wouldn't do it now, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, fuck fireworks. Fuck what happened to him. That's really sad. Yeah, a lot of sad stuff this episode. There is including so. this pizza. Speaking of pizza, did you want to talk about the NBA at all or basketball? Oh, dude, I thought I had the perfect. Oh, you did. That's so why I intentionally ass. did that. And you don't have to. I just didn't want to. No, no. The finals are happening between the Bucks and the other team. The Suns, right? Yep, it is the Suns. Thank you. I'm glad yep. you knew. It's tied two two. I know that. I think the Suns are up two zero. And then they uh, lost two in a row. Um, I think that's the only news that's even worth mentioning. I kind of hope the Suns win because um, of Chris Paul. Uh, that's who that's his name. Is. Paul, yeah. CP the third, CP three. Uh, he's ancient and he's never been to a. I think I don't think he's ever been to a finals, let alone won one. So I hope he gets what he deserves. Yeah, I care less about either teams. I think both of them haven't won in forever. So for me, that's even more reason why. Yeah, I'm sure. Sure, when he win, it's not. Like they expect to like the Lakers or Lakers the Warriors. Lakers and the Warriors, or, yeah. yeah. And the fucking Cavs. Yeah. Um, speaking of the Cavaliers, there is one other NBA news I saw. Uh, LeBron James or is as I know. Fortnite. Or no, as I noticed in my yes. typo here, uh, Kenton James. Oh. Uh, oh, Kenton. So what the hell did I put here? Um, he said that he hopes to be able to retire as a Laker. Yeah which sucks because I think I was never as confident more hopeful, but I think everybody kind of assumed that he was going to I'm talking to Cavaliers. This, actually, my wife. Um, my wife. I think she gave me a big suck. Yeah. Um, yeah, I thought, that, I thought it was weird. He's been with the Lakers two years? Yeah, I think. He's done two stints with Cleveland? Mm-hmm. And he's from Akron. From Akron. Done everything for Cleveland, right? Built a school and shit. Yeah. And that, that was her argument. It's like, well... Maybe it's a Kobe thing. Maybe it's a, he loves the Lakers. And he's done a lot for Cleveland. Maybe he just wants to retire somewhere else. Like, seems fucked up, but I guess you're uh, right. Yeah, I think it definitely is messed up. Even if he wants to play in with the Lakers for all of his prime and then have, like, one not great year and 
Cleveland. I think even that, I don't think you like, he has to come back and win a championship. But yeah, I think that's kind of odd if you wouldn't retire a Cavalier. I thought he would have. Maybe they don't want him to. And it could still happen, and we see how dramatic NBA players are. That could yeah. change by the off season, but that's what he said, at least. Hmm. Speaking of sure pizza, yeah, that was such a good segue, and I really fucked it up. Well, you didn't. NBA? No, I fucked it up. I knew yeah. there was another sport. So speaking of fucked up, you want to talk about first? Or you want me to? How about you, uh, you Papa go Joe's? First. Oh, Papa Jays. Not to be confused with. John, so. yeah. Papa JoJo's. I so, gave all mine over to Casey, as you can see. I just pushed it all over. We always look for pizzas online. This one. I'm looked, reviewing this one. Yeah. Not that one. Yeah. Thank okay. you. This pizza looked really good online. It did. It even um, looked good on the box, I thought. Oh, yeah. No, I was getting to that. Going there was uh, what I expected. So I wasn't like, oh, shot, shit, this is terrifying. I kind of thought it was going to be like that. So yeah. it's what I expected. A little shocker for me, but okay. <laughs> Then going in, even though the environment was terrible, this seems like a great environment for pizza. It's usually the kind of place you're just like, oh, shit. Yeah, I liked the stepping back into the 90s. Yeah. No, I liked it. Opening it, I was like, this looks really good. Smelling it was odd. Yeah, it was an odd smell. I was a little worried and they I did some stuff. I think it was the crust. Could be. Um, so to break it down a little, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, the crust is not great. The, rat- <laughs> the rattlesnake-looking thing is actually the weirdest for me, just the looks of it. Um, but, yeah, it definitely does not... The crust not taste great. The sauce, it's it's fine. It's whatever. It's not great. Meh. I think the cheese is good. I don't even think I like that as much as you. I didn't like. That was okay. That was good. Um, so I would say, well, let me tell you this first. Should I tell you what I started out at, and then like sure, sure, eating, sure, 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 not just like looking at it. Um, so when I was eating it, I was like, this is okay. I'll give it like a five. It's okay. And five should be okay. Cause that's halfway. You're stating? Yeah. Well, it's more than uh, half. Well, shit. You know what I mean? Uh, so four. four. So you started yeah. four. Okay. Yeah. Four. Yeah. It's okay. Um, then kept eating it and kept realizing I want more, which usually I just keep going even if the pizza's just okay. So this pizza can't be okay. I'm kind of like, hey, I don't want any more. I didn't want it after the first bite, but I was so hungry. And it kept dropping little by little, so it came down to a two and a half for me, two point five. Really? Wow. It's low. You didn't like it? No, it's edible. It's not like a one or. Remember that Bella's worst. place? Mm-hmm. Would you rather have this or that? I'd rather have Bella's. Okay. I think I'm in the same boat. Yeah. I oh wow. Bellas. I thought you were gonna freak out on me, but I was like, that's how I feel. No, I gave Bell's a two nine, so I'm not Um so are you done? Yep, that's two point five. This pizza the crust is awful. <laughs> awful. Terrible, terrible crust. Terrible, terrible crust. It looks like it should be crispy and flaky, and it feels like it's not even cooked. <laughs> and it also tastes like it's wheat. A wheat pizza base, which is odd. It tastes like a healthy crust that you buy from Kroger. Um, the sauce also tastes like a generic ass. I bought this at a store, which is sad. Kind of, I don't know what it said. It's kind of sweet. Um, the cheese was good. I, 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 you're right. I did think the cheese. Um, that's because I'm fucking pretty easy to <laughs> please with cheese. This reminds me. The cheese kind of reminds me of the bowling alley, alley pizza. Wow, really? A little bit, like loosely, when it was hot, and maybe it's more so because I, I have that taste. Oh. oh, I bet that's the air's gonna suck ass now. This fucking crust is soft, <laughs> and it shouldn't be. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Um, crust is terrible. <laughs> It's not good. I won't, I, I, I won't go here again. <laughs> um, was it expensive? This was 20 bucks for a large and a medium, right? Yeah, 20 I got it right here. So our total for the two pieces of $23. Okay. Assuming most of that was the large, which I yeah. don't even want. <laughs> um, <laughs> this pizza right here. Let me look at my other ratings. Two 
two one. This is the so, worst one I've had so far. Why are you shocked on my rating then? You just thought I would like you more? Yeah, because the things that I've given like a three, you've given like a six. So Um I think what we're realizing is we have some pizza places that we're very similar on, but overall we seem to not be the same on pizza. Because yeah, some of these have varied quite a bit. Have they? Yeah, like you said, bowling alley was like couldn't be more opposite. Four two. Um, and mine was seven point five. Yeah, it's crazy. We also have a different rating system. So yeah, it's above okay. Good drunk pizza. I remember reviewing that one. What'd you give little one? You gave little Caesar the one, but you don't like garlic. Godfather. What'd you give Godfather? You love Godfather. Eight. Um, that wasn't on the show. Should we talk about it? Sure. Cause I don't, I don't know if we'll get, we'll probably get it again, but we can just sneak it in a little bit right here. I give it a three two. You give it an eight. It would definitely be near there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we are a little different, but kind of similar. We like similar places. Yeah. Different on style. But hopefully next time we get a great pizza. I am excited for a really, really like a life changing pizza. I mean, too. I I was kind of thought this could be it. The more I, was I did too. It, I was like, shit, this sucks. That it's in a terrible area because I didn't have to go here a lot. I'm gonna say this. I know okay. we're not supposed to do this. The pepperoni is like a. Th- Three eight. Three nine. Yep. Um, which is better than Godfather's. Wow. I give it three two. Way better than Bell's. Uh maybe it's not better than God. No, it is. No, it is, because that was Pizza Hut. <laughs> uh, cause that high this that crust is different. I showed it. In weird places during the stream or during the episode, um, the crust was different, and there's seasoning and pepperonis to hide the taste of the shit crust. So, I know we don't do that, but that's better than this, way better. You just said stream and gave me an idea we should do some kind of stream for sports, like I do the extra life streams and yeah. try multiple pizzas throughout it. I'm down on how we do it, but I think we should think of something. Find every place that delivers here. And- have them all delivered here at the same time. Well, I mean, like, as far as what we stream, like, do it for a game, do it while we play. Sports Don't the Broncos game. and Seahawks play each other in preseason? Yeah. Done. But then you said you think we're not allowed to stream the game. Definitely so, not. Yeah. We could have, like, the box score up there. All right. Just chit-chatting you, Pete. Anything else? No. I think this was good. This pizza was not, but the episode was. Although the so. technical difficulties at the beginning. My bad. It happens. You know? I blame you, but... No, they say life's like a pizza. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. Sometimes you slice it, sometimes you dice it. Mm. Sometimes you french fry when you should have pizza. Pop, 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 pop,